What's going on everybody? My name is Joey Natto. Yes, I'm back to the old intro that I used to do, but things are going to be a little bit different with these videos. I'm going to start doing music producer reviews. 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 Rather than reacts. At least for a few months. Just because I have a few copyright strikes and I don't want to take any risks right now. But who knows? You might end up liking the review videos better than the reaction videos. <laughs> that would be... That'd be exquisite. You know, I started a podcast uh, with my friend Crypt. He's a dope rapper, a dope YouTuber. Put a link in the description below for that. And we also put out an album called When the Sky Turns Red. There's a link in the description below for that as well. That album was made in four days. If that sparks your curiosity to hear what 12 songs made in four days sounds like, you should check it out. But to be completely honest, um, I do miss reviewing music, checking out new music. And uh, I know a lot of fan bases are still on this channel. I know BTS was one of the first groups that I started making videos about. So I think it's only right that I break down their song, Ugh. Or well, they say with a, they say like, Ugh. Like, Ugh. Like, Ugh. I, I can't really say it the way they say it for some reason. I don't know why. So what I did is I took a bunch of notes on when I listened to the song. Okay, now this is my first music review, so bear with me. This is my first time doing this. I think what's great about this is I'm going to be able to give very accurate descriptions about the song. I won't feel rushed to explain anything because I won't be like thinking to myself, oh, they probably just want to hear, they probably want to hear the video or the song and all that good stuff. But I'm not gonna have to deal with that. Like I could go at my pace, you know what I mean? And the videos will probably be shorter, so I could probably do more of them. And I th man, I'm just excited about this, to be honest with you. So right off the bat, I wanna say this song is followed up on the album, their, uh, their seven album, Map of the Soul 7. The song preceding this song is called On, and I did a high energy reaction video to that song. And I'll put a link in the description below for that too. But basically, this is the song that follows it. And On is very high energy and has really in your face production. And Ugh, or Ugh, I feel like tries to have that kind of energy or even more so. But the way the song is mixed or something with the production makes it not be that way. Now, the song starts off with a gunshot. We're talking about BTS right now. Like the song starts with a gunshot right off the bat, some vinyl cracks, and then like really thin kind of like almost like mocking asian type instruments uh synth melody going ding 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 like it's, it's like descending kind of like a descending melody and it's really thin sounding there's like a west coast high wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, like that <laughs> like that type of synthesizer in there as well and all these sounds are just really thin and then i'm like okay so when this beat drops it's gonna be something crazy right not really i mean what okay so the rap line did their thing on this song that, that that's one thing i do want to definitely highlight as far as the positives go is that rap lines performance was dare i say stellar <laughs> on this you know the whole thing is in korean so i'm not sure what they're saying for the most part i didn't look at the lyrics i, I just wanted to just go into this with just just listening to it as if it came on on the radio and i didn't have any resources like what would what would my impression of the song be so that it gets started with like really fast flows like they definitely flex their muscles in terms of flat uh fast flows and dynamic ranges and their voice and going from low energy to high energy yelling to just straight just regular rapping it it's really an array of styles and really just kind of a f skill flex type song for them i would say though that the once the bass comes in man i was expecting something harder like the the drums weren't punching enough to me and the once the pre-chorus came in you know you get like this raspy distorted um synth bass going on that really is like okay this is a build up this is a pre-chorus and it really reminded me it was really reminiscent of like the mic drop remix song that they had and i was like okay th th this might be really building up to a crazy hook and you know what it did <laughs> Once the hook came in, they're like, oh, hey, uh, hey, or whatever, how it goes. I was like, ooh, like this, that part is undeniable. That part is undeniable fire. And I wish it came back again in the song with that same kind of energy. The hook does come in again in the song, but at one minute and 20 seconds or something like that, that, that kind of timestamp of the song, that's when it hits its climax. And that's when it was like super fire to me and undeniable 
for about 10, 12 seconds, I would say. And then, you know, the song ends, the, the song ends on a pretty interesting, in a pretty interesting way. The song, so the song starts with like one gunshot, and I'm like, okay, that's just like a hype gunshot, you know what I mean? Like, kind of like when you hear a siren in the beginning of a song. It doesn't mean that the song's gonna be about the ambulance or the police come in or anything like that. It's just like a energy type thing. But this song ends with what sounds like a damn heavy machine gun just bucking shots at the end and i was like what what are they trying to portray here what is what is the thing here now i know the old bts music like when they first were putting music out under big hit had that like gun type of sounds in it and stuff like that but man this was like really <laughs> this sounded like violence like straight up violence at the end and uh, it really caught me off guard. The song takes a lot of creative risks, I would say. And they definitely try to be outside the box with this one. But for me, it kind of fell flat a little bit. That's my opinion of this song. Vocal performance wise, it does not lack in terms of charisma and energy. It's all there. As far as production, I feel like it could have been a lot heavier. The song, when I listened to it, I listened to it on Spotify. So then the next song on the album just played right after that and it's called Zero Clock and it's a pop R&B like ballad type of song and it's beautiful and the drums hit harder in that song than in this song for Ugh or Ugh or damn man I can't say the name of this damn song but yeah that's my opinion of the song let me know what you guys think your opinion was about BTS's song Ugh 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 I give up trying to say it. Anyways, if you want to hear some of my original music, to see what if I know what the hell I'm talking about, there's a link in the description below for that. I appreciate you guys watching. Sorry I said so many damn description links in the description below, but hey, it's all about those description links, man. Appreciate you guys watching, and I'm lucky to have you guys. Nada! Wake up! It was cliche, let it be that we gotta get a cake up. There's no need to call a meeting if you ain't even trying to, trying to pay up. I'm banging on your door like, wake up, wake up.